everyone, my name is Katia and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable owl. There is no sewing, we use hot glue to glue everything on and it is measuring at about 18 inches long and the widest part is about eight and a half inches or eight inches. For this project I'm using number four medium weight yarn. We're going to be using two strands of yarn. You're going to need your five and a half millimeter crochet hook, some beads for the beak and the eyes, a stick, and a hot glue to glue it all together. Using two strands of yarn, we're going to start with the magic ring. If you're having a hard time with your magic ring, you can work a slip knot, chain four, and slip stitch into the first chain to join. Right here, I'm finishing up my magic ring, and I'm going to go ahead and chain one. We're not going to chain any more, just the chain one will be fine. Into this magic ring, we need to work 12 double crochets. So right over here, we're going to go ahead and work our first double crochet using the magic ring. So here's one, two, three, Four. Continue working on your double crochets until you have a total of 12 for round one and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of round one you should have 12 double crochets so here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go ahead and pull on this yarn tails to tighten the center and to end this round we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch using the first double crochet. So go ahead and find a double crochet and slip stitch. This ends round one. For round two, we're going to start by chaining one. This chain one doesn't count for anything. Back into the same stitch where we slip stitched into the first stitch. We'll go ahead and work two double crochets. Here's one. And go back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet. Into the following stitch, work two double crochets. Here's one. Go back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet. And we're going to repeat this pattern around. We're going to work two double crochets into each stitch around. Here's one. And go back and work your second double crochet using that same stitch. And right here, into the next stitch, work two double crochets again. You're going to continue on this pattern, working two double crochets into each stitch around, and at the end of round two, you should have 24 double crochets, and I'll meet you then. At the end of round two, this is how it looks like, and we have a total of 24 double crochets. To end this round, we're going to find the first double crochet at the beginning of the round, which is right over here. Using the loops, we're going to slip stitch. For round three, we're going to start by chaining one. Back into that same stitch where we slip stitched into for round two, we're going to use that stitch and work one double crochet. Into the following stitch, we're going to work two double crochets. Here's one. Go back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet. Into the next stitch, work one double crochet. Into the following stitch, work two double crochets. So for this pattern, we're working one double crochet into one stitch and then two double crochets into the following stitch. And that's the pattern. So into the next stitch, work one double crochet. And into the next stitch, work two double crochets. You're going to continue and work on this pattern for round three and at the end, you're going to have 36 double crochets and then I'll meet you then. At the end of round three, we have a total of 36 double crochets. To end this round, we're going to work one slip stitch using the first double crochet, which is right over here. Go ahead and slip stitch to end round three. Round four will be our last round for the head and then we'll move on to the body. And to start, we're going to chain one and back into the same stitch the first stitch we're going to work two double crochets. So go ahead and work one double crochet 
and then go back into that same first stitch and work your second double crochet. So we're switching it up a little bit. Into the next two stitches we're going to work one double crochet. So here's one, go into the following stitch and work your second double crochet. Into the following stitch we're going to work two double crochets which is our increase. Here's one and go back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet. And now work one double crochet using the next two stitches. One, go into the next stitch and work your second double crochet. Let's repeat. Into the following stitch we're going to work two double crochets. One, go back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet. And now into the next two stitches work one double crochet. So this pattern is one, one, two, one, one, two. So you're going to continue working on this pattern. So into the next stitch work two double crochets and then one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, all around. And at the end you should have 48 double crochets. And I'll meet you then. I'm coming to the end of round four and I have two stitches left. So right over here I just work my increase which is two double crochets worked into the same stitch and into the last two stitches I'm just going to work one double crochet. So here's one and then into the last stitch work one double crochet. And to end we're going to slip stitch using the first double crochet at the beginning of this round. And at the end of round four we have 48 double crochets. Let's go ahead and work on the pineapple stitch next, which is the body of the owl. And to start we're going to use this stitch right here. So right over here, don't count this. So we have the two double crochets right over here, the beginning of the round. And in between them, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that space. So go ahead and slip stitch using that space. And now chain three. This chain three stands as the first double crochet. Back into that same space, we're going to work two double crochets. Here's one and two. In total we have three stitches. Chain two and go back into that same space and work three double crochets. Here's one. It'll be a little bit tight but it's okay. Two and three. I don't know why my yarn is making that noise. Let's go ahead and chain three and we're going to skip four stitches. So pull this back and count four stitches. Here's one, two, three, four. Into the fifth stitch work one double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet using the next six stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. In total we should have seven double crochets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's go ahead and chain three, one, two and three. We're going to skip four stitches. So right here we're going to start counting one, two, three, four. Between the fourth and fifth double crochet we're going to work three double crochets into that space. So here's one, two, three, so we're repeating same thing as we did in the beginning of this round, right over here. We're repeating it on this side. Chain two. Now go back into that same space between the double crochets and work three double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. This ends row 
one for the pineapple and this is how it looks like so we have the head right over here and then we're starting on row one for the pineapple for row two we're going to turn the work and we need to slip stitch to get to this chain two space right here so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch here's one two and three chain three this chain three stands as the first double crochet back into this chain two space work two double crochets here's one and two chain two and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space we're going to start each row like this two and three we're going to chain two and right over here where we worked our seven double crochets we're going to work one double crochet on top of each of those seven double crochets and in between we're going to add chain one so find your first double crochet stitch which is right over here and work one double crochet using that stitch and now chain one find your next double crochet work one double crochet using that stitch and work a chain one let's repeat one double crochet chain one one double crochet and chain one repeat across and I have one more right over here Go ahead and count we have one two three four five six seven double crochets and we have chain ones in between and let's go ahead and end this round by working two chains here's one and two and into this chain two space right here we're going to work three double crochets chain two three double crochets it's going to be same ending for each row two and three chain two and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space one two and three and this ends row two For row three, we're going to turn our work and slip stitch to get to the chain two space. That's a total of three slip stitches. Here's one, two, and three. Chain three stands for the first double crochet. Back into that chain two, work two double crochets. Here's one. And work one more double crochet. chain two and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space one two and three chain two now right over here where we worked our seven double crochets we're going to work two double crochets into each stitch and in between we're going to work one chain so right here is our first double crochet go ahead and work two double crochets using the first stitch here's one and go back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet chain one now you're going to repeat find your next double crochet and work two double crochets using that same stitch chain one repeat again work two double crochets into the next stitch one and two and chain one continue like this and i'll meet you right over here at the end we have a total of 14 double crochets and in between we have chain one we need to chain two and to end this row into this chain two space work three double crochets chain two three double crochets same as before 
one, two, and three, chain two, and now work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. And this ends row three. This is how it looks like. For row four, we're going to turn our work and slip stitch to get to this chain two space three times. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and work our same start by chaining three. Work two double crochets back into that same chain two space. Chain two. And work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One. Two. And three. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Right here, we're going to work using this chain one spaces now. So we're no longer working in the double crochets, we're going to be using the chain one spaces. So find your first chain one space and work one single crochet using that space. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Find your next chain one space and into that chain one space work one single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Into the next chain one space work one single crochet. Repeat across, chain four, one, two, three, and four. And into the next chain one space work one single crochet. One, two, three, four. One single crochet into the next chain one space. And let's go ahead and repeat one more time. Chain four and work one single crochet using the following chain one space. And at the end, we have one, two, three, four, five chain four spaces. And to end this row, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and into this chain two space, work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. And this ends row four. For row five, we're going to start the same way. Turn your work, slip stitch three times. One, two, and three. Once we're in the chain two space, chain three, which stands as the first double crochet. Work two double crochets back into that chain two space. One, and two. Chain two and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to work single crochets using the chain four space. So right here is our first chain four space. And into that space, work one single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Into the next chain four space, work one single crochet. And let's repeat. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Work one single crochet into the next chain four space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Work one single crochet into the next chain four space and let's repeat one more time. Chain four and work one single crochet using the last chain four space. At the end, we have one, two, three, four chain four spaces. Let's go ahead and chain three and we're going to end this row 
by working three double crochets, chain two, three double, double crochets using this chain two space. Here's one, two, and three double crochets, chain two, and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. And this ends row five. And for row six, seven, eight, and nine, we're going to repeat row five, but each time we're going to have less of this chain four spaces. So if you want to work ahead, you can repeat row five, but each time it's going to decrease with the chain four. But I'm going to show you how it's done. So let's move on and work on row six. We're going to start same way, slip stitch to get to the chain two space. Chain three, one, two, three, work two double crochets back into that same chain two space. Chain two, work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, into this first chain four space, work one single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, work one single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, one, two, three, four, work one single crochet using the next chain four space, chain four, one, two, three, four, work one single crochet using the next chain four space, and at the end we have three chain four spaces and let's go ahead and end this row by chaining three and into the last chain two space we're going to work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Two and three double crochets, chain two and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One two and three and this ends row six and this is how it looks like for row seven let's go ahead and turn our work and we're going to slip stitch three times one two and three once we're in the chain two space chain three stands for the first double crochet Work two double crochets back into that chain two space. One and two. Chain two. Work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, three. Into the first chain four space, work one single crochet, chain four. Into the next chain four space, work one single crochet, chain four. Into the last chain four space, which is right here, work one single crochet. And at the end, we have two chain four spaces. Let's go ahead and end this row by chaining three, one, two, three, and into the last chain two space, work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain two, and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. This ends row seven. For row eight, we're going to turn our work, slip stitch to get to the chain two space, chain three, work two double crochets back into that same chain two space, chain two, 
and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. Chain three, into the chain four space, work one single crochet, chain four, three and four, find your next chain four space, which is right here, work one single crochet, and at the end we have one chain four space, chain three, and now into this chain two space, go ahead and work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and I'll meet you back. For row nine, we're going to start by turning our work. Let's go ahead and slip stitch, same as before. Once you're in the chain two space, chain three, work two double crochets into that chain two space, chain two, and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. Chain three, and right over here we have our one chain four space, into that chain four space work one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to end this row by working three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets using that chain two space, two and three, chain two, and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. And this ends row nine. For row ten, we're going to turn our work, and let's go ahead and start the same way, slip stitch to get to the chain two space, chain three, Work two double crochets back into that same chain two space, chain two, and work three double crochets back into that same chain two space. One, two, and three. Now we're not going to chain and we're going to jump straight to this chain two space. So you're skipping all of this right here and into this last chain two space. We're just going to end this row by working three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Here's one, two, three, double crochets, chain two, and work three more double crochets back into that chain two space. One, two, and three. And this is how it looks like. We just finished the pineapple stitch. So here's our head, and this is the pineapple stitch. And let's go ahead and chain one and fasten up, cut your yarn. Right over here, I know this is the back because I have the yarn tail sticking out. So we're going to hide our, this yarn tails using our hook. So pick up the back loops of any of the stitch. Just wrap the yarn tails around and pull through. You can also use your yarn needle if you like to, but you don't need to worry about yarn tails being perfect. Just want to hide them a little bit. So right over here, I think I'm just going to use one more stitch. Just wrap it around and pull through. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this yarn tails. I'm not going to work on these right now because it helps me know that this is the back. But if you like to, you could go ahead and weave them in same way. To add the tassels to the bottom, I'm just using my yarn tails, two at the same time, but you can use one. And go ahead and measure out about 14 inches. Now you can have longer tassels if you like to, but once they're 14 inches, go ahead and cut. And you're going to need a total of 12 for each one, and there's three of them. So I'm just going to use this and just kind of go ahead and cut my uh, yarn tails of about 14 inches long. So once I have a total of 12, I'll be right back. Once you have your 12 pieces of yarn, go ahead and find the middle. So fold it in half using this ends. And right here is the middle. I'm going to use this and make a loop. 
So right over here is where the center is. So here's the head and this is where we finished last row. I'm going to use this space right here and make a big loop. So right over here I'm going to bring this towards the back. So this is the front. So I'm bringing this loop towards the back using my fingers. And right here I'm making a loop at the back. And using this loop I'm going to use this yarn strands and push them through like that. And right over here tighten it. And we made our first tassel, or it's not really a tassel, but I call them a tassel. And you're going to repeat the same process using these two spaces. You're going to use 12 strands of yarn, 14 inches long, and you're going to make the big loop using this space right here, where the chain 2 is, and then same thing right over here, where this chain 2 space is. And this is how it's going to look like. So right here, this is the one we just did. And then I went ahead and I worked two more. And I used the chain two spaces. And this is how it looks like. We're going to go ahead and work on the eyes next. You need a total of two. We're going to start with the slip knot. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I am using two strands. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain to join. Into this ring we're going to work single crochets and I am working my yarn tails in so I'm going to hold on to them as I work on my single crochets. Chain one and work single crochet using the ring. Here's one, two, three, four, five. We need a total of 25 single crochets worked using this ring right here. If it's getting too tight, what you can do is push on the single crochets and it'll open up more room. So go ahead and work on the total of 25 single crochets and I'll meet you back. And so far we worked five, so you need 20 more. I went ahead and I worked a total of 25 single crochets. You can pull on this yarn tail a little bit to tighten it. You don't have to. For round two, we're going to work one single crochet using each stitch, but we're going to work them using back loops. So right over here is our stitch, the first stitch. Instead of picking up all four loops, we're going to pick up only the back loops, which would be the two loops in the back. Go ahead and work your single crochet using that back loop. And you're going to repeat. Work one single crochet using the back loop of the next stitch and repeat across or around, picking up each stitch but using the back loops only. And at the end we should have 25 single crochets. Continue working and I'll meet you back. At the end of round two, this is how it looks like, and we worked a total of 25 single crochets using the back loops only. For round three, which is our last round, we're going to start by chaining three. Into the first stitch, we're going to use back loops of that stitch and slip stitch using those loops, like that. Let's repeat. Chain three, find your next stitch, and into the back loops, work one slip stitch. Chain three, and slip stitch using the back loops of the following stitch. Chain three, slip stitch into the next stitch using the back loops. And this is how it looks like. You're going to continue on this pattern around and I'll meet you at the end to show you what to do next. I'm coming to the end of round three and this is how it looks like. And to end, I just went ahead and I chained three and right over here is my last stitch. I'm going to use that stitch back loops and work my slip stitch. Chain one and cut your yarn and at the end you should have a total of 25 chain three spaces. Pull out your hook, tighten it and you can work on this yarn tails. And here's our one eye and we need to work on the second eye same exact way. And I'll meet you back. 
Once you have your two eyes done, we're going to continue and work on the top of the head for the owl. And to do that, we're going to use two strands of yarn and the same hook size. And we're going to start with the slip knot. And we need a chain of 16. There's one, two, three, four, five. Try to chain up loosely. Don't make them too tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Into the second chain from the hook, we're going to work one single crochet. Don't count this, but right over here, here's one, two. Using that second chain, work one single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet into each chain across. So pick up each chain and work one single crochet. You could also use the back loops if it's easier for you that way. Continue working on your single crochets using each chain and at the end you should have 15 single crochets and I'll meet you back. At the end of row one this is how it looks like and we have a total of 15 single crochets. For row two we're going to chain one and turn our work we're going to work one single crochet using the first stitch, which is right over here, but we're going to use the front loop. So pick up the front loop only, the back stays there, don't pick it up, and work one single crochet. Into the next stitch, work one single crochet using the front loop. For us, it's two loops because we're using two strands. For the next two stitches, we're going to work one half double crochet using the front loop. So let's go ahead and work that. So pick it up, the front loop only, and work one half double crochet, and repeat one more time using the following stitch, front loop only. Now let's go ahead and work one double crochet using the next two stitches, front loops only. Here's one. Go into the next stitch and use the front loop and work one double crochet. Into the following stitch, we're going to work a treble crochet. To work a treble crochet, we're going to wrap the yarn two times, go into the front loop of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. This is how it looks like so far. Into the following stitch, we're going to work three double treble crochets, and to do that, we're going to wrap the yarn around three times. That's two, and one more time. Go into that front loop only, and yarn over and pull through. Now we have one, two, three, four, five loops. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. We need one more double treble crochet and to do that we're going to wrap, wrap and wrap, go into the front loop, yarn over, pull through, now we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So right here we worked on three double treble crochet using the front loop of that stitch. And now we're just going to repeat working same stitches on this side. So let's go ahead and start with the treble crochet using the front loop. Now work one double crochet using the next two stitches, front loops only. Next we're going to work one half double crochet into the next two stitches using the front loops only. Here's one. Go into the next stitch and work one half double crochet. And now we should have two stitches left and we're just going to work one single crochet using those last two stitches, front loops only. And at the end of row two, this is how it looks like. For row three, we're going to start by chaining three. This chain three stands as the first double crochet. Turn your work, and right over here, using the back loop of the first stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. In total, we work two stitches using that same uh, stitch. 
So we, we have the chain three, which stands as the first double crochet, and we worked one more double crochet. Into the next seven stitches, we're going to work one double crochet using the back loops only. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And total we have nine double crochets worked on this side. And right over here, we're right where the middle is of the double treble crochet that we worked on. And into that stitch, we're going to work five double crochets. So pick up back loop and work five double crochets. Here's one, two, and we're using that same stitch to work our five double crochets. Three, four, and five. Into the next seven stitches, we're going to work one double crochet using the back loops only. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we have one stitch left, and into that stitch we need to work two double crochets using the back loops only. Here's one, and go back into that same stitch, use the back loops only, and work your last double crochet. And this is how it looks like at the end. For row four, which is our last row, we're going to turn our work, don't chain, and right over here using the post of the first stitch, go around it, and work one single crochet. And again, use the post of the following stitch, go around it, and work one single crochet. Find your next post, go around it, and work one single crochet. Again, go around that post, pick up your yarn, pull through, and work one single crochet. And you're going to repeat this until we get to the middle of the five double crochets that we work on. So right here, pick up the post and work your single crochet. Pick up the post and work your single crochet. And right over here, we're at the center where the five double crochets are. So count the middle one. So here's one, two, three. This third one, we're going to work a little bit different. So let's go ahead and work our single crochets using the post. Here's one, and work one more using the following post to use, work a single crochet. And we're right at the center. And into that one, we're going to go ahead and work one single crochet using the post of that stitch. Chain one, and go back into that same double crochet stitch. Use the post one more time. So wrap your hook around it and go ahead and work one single crochet. And now we're just going to repeat. We're going to use each post of the double crochet and work one single crochet. So wrap your hook around and work one single crochet. Continue working until the end. And I'm coming to the end, and right over here we have our double crochet and the chain three. Work your single crochet using the post, and same thing with this chain three. Work your last single crochet using the post of that chain three. So right over here, this is how it looks like, and this is the back, and right here is the front. 
let's go ahead and fasten up so chain one and cut your yarn tails let's go ahead and glue the top of the head of the owl first and to do that right over here we're going to use this first round as a guide and place it right on top of it and you want to make sure that this round end right here is covered so I'm going to go ahead and place it like this and then add some glue only to the circular part so right over here I'm not adding glue onto this end so that's what I'll be doing just gluing that part on first So now that we glued this part on, let's go ahead and glue on the eyes. I already worked my yarn tails in for this and for this. I forgot to mention and I did add a dab of glue right over here where the yarn tails were. And we're going to go ahead and place our eyes right over here, kind of center them. So I think this is good. I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. One quick thing, if you're going to be using felt for your eyes, go ahead and glue the felt first, covering this opening, and then glue your eyes on. So I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. For the nose, I'm just using an acorn found outside so I'm just going to glue that down I don't have a bead that looks similar you can also use felt or if you have a bead that looks the same kind of like this like a beak you can go ahead and use that and now for the eyes I am going to be using um, eyes with the fasteners and I'm going to be using this ones they're measuring about two centimeters so if you want to go ahead and use the same ones all you're going to do is just place it inside and just glue it down you can use the fastener for them because it's just too thick but you could try if you want to I'm just going to go ahead and glue them down I found a stick outside, it is measuring, and I think I might even change it later, but it is measuring close to nine inches long. You can use any kind of stick of your choice or just skip this part. And right over here at the bottom, I'm just going to place it right over here where the tassels are and finding about five yarn tails, I'm going to place it underneath. And same thing on this side. Find about five pieces of yarn and place it on top of the stick and position it make sure you like the way it looks and then just glue this five yarn pieces right on sadly my camera ran out of battery but I just wanted to show you that I just used the strands and I just used some hot glue and pressed it down using the stick so I just added it on the stick and then pressed it down like this and then same thing on this side just be careful it is a little hot so next let's go ahead and trim the ants so you're just going to decide how long you want your ants to be and just trim it down using scissors and that's what I'll do Next, let's go ahead and work on the top right over here. We're going to add chains so we can hang the owl and I'll show you how that's done. We're going to go ahead and find the first row right over here and using the first single crochet, insert your hook into that space and wrap the two strands around your hook and pull through. Hold on to the yarn tails and chain 18. Here's one, two, three, four, five, continue chaining until you have 18. 
Right over here I finished chaining 18 and we're going to come to this side and using the last single crochet of that row, which is right over here, insert your hook and slip stitch and make sure you go through the chains as well. Chain one and you can cut your yarn. Pull out your hook, tighten it, and now you can hang your owl. And this yarn tails, you can just weave it in at the end and same with this ones, and that's what I'll work on is just weaving these yarn tails really quickly. And here's our finished owl. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.